Well, he's dead. Like, yeah. and, and like, I feel like. <sighs> you feel what? Three years ago, I lost my best friend, Joe, to suicide. I made a documentary about Joe and the issue of suicide in the UK to process my own grief. Hi, Hi Rowan. Hi, see you. Yeah. Come in. You get this sort of creeping panic that you'll never hug him again and wish it wasn't so. Sorry. Yeah. And I met people up and down the country dealing with what felt like a suicide epidemic at the height of COVID. Since then, that conversation has become a huge part of not just my working life, but my personal life. I want to start by asking, are you really OK? In terms of long term, I'm getting there. Stats don't lie. Guys think about suicide and, and, and have a moment in their life where, where they feel like they're on that edge a lot more than people think. This was something I never expected to do, didn't want to do, but I knew I had to do. You know, people know me as radio show, morning, happy, but now they also know me as almost like this suicide boy type thing. If young people are reaching out to someone like me for help, it makes me think something's going very wrong. The issue of mental health is such a big part of my life, and I'm lucky enough to be able to afford my own support. I still see a therapist. I see a therapist once a week. It's more so like now I've realised a lot about PTSD and how, um, like for me, going into the radio station and like reliving that day um, happens a lot in my head and it will cause me to have like an anxiety attack. And it's understanding that my body, even though it's, it's in the past, it's done, my body is still reacting to a moment that's happened. So I'll be on a train or I'll be anywhere. It's quite scary. Um, when, I have, when I have a panic attack, my whole body will, y you know, just start throwing up. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's not nice. The only way that I've been able to break that cycle is through medication. These are my life. Like, I take these every day in an attempt to try and make me feel better, and that's it. And you worry, and I think, do these control me? Is this who I am, or... I don't know. It's weird. I talk to him all the time in, in my head or out loud when I'm on my own, questioning or not if I'm meant to be doing this. A part of me feels like all I want to hear is him say that I don't need to do this. And that I can let go of it. But I feel like, I can't let it go. It's not about pride, it's not about him being proud, it's more so knowing that I've done everything I can. There's just a lot going on at the minute and I feel like I need to clear my head a bit. And whenever that happens, I, I usually just go home and you know, I speak to my mum and dad. But the only problem is, is every time I go back to my family's house, I guarantee you he's going to try and make me do some form of manual labour. You OK? I'm good with you. you all right? Yeah, yeah, good. yeah. You want to do a bit of gardening with me? Well, not really, but I know I'm going to have to. You've never done gardening in your life. I know. A bit of therapy, road. Right? Just think of it as therapy. Oh, right. You'll be all right. I see, yeah. <laughs> Have you got gloves or something? No. No? I won't. You get your fingernails dirty, you'll be all right. Right. You don't have to dig it down far, you just want to turn it well, over. I don't know. I'd like, well, I'm supposed to know Look, farming lingo. I don't know what that it's is. It's not farming. You want to turn it over so it's nice and fresh. So what's been going on, Roy? What's happening? Nothing, I just... I guess I'm just at that point now where 
if I'm in the pub or something and I, you know, and then someone's talking to me about suicide and things like yeah, that. And man. there's part of me where I'm like, I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to do this anymore, yeah, but yeah. I've brought that on myself by putting it out there in the pub. Yeah, well, you've brought it on yourself, but you're doing a, uh, an incredible thing. You're saving people's lives by talking about your own. So you shouldn't question yeah, but I'm it. Not, I'm not. You are though. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's it's, it's it's so hard to explain because it's like the thing that's really hard and that yeah. makes me worry a lot is is just that I feel like. <sighs> what do you feel like you're using Joe because to make yeah. you more yeah. famous? Yeah. Uh, and to further your yeah life. Yeah. Uh, but it's not that. It's not uh, that. But I'm constantly all, trying to feel right. like I need to prove that. You know, when people come up to me in the street and they say, oh, we, you know, we, we are so grateful for what Roman's doing because my son or my daughter is struggling with their mental health. I can't tell you how proud me and mum are. And I understand how difficult yeah, but it is for you. That's what I, I'm saying. I do. I it's, understand. You can hear people say that. Yeah. But then I, I, I feel horrendous Why? because I feel like. Well, he's dead. Like, yeah. and, and like, I feel like. <sighs> you feel what? I feel like I have to go home and like, when I like speak to him, I feel like I have to apologize. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It... I promise you, Joe would be more than happy to know what you're doing.